Hello, this is um, part two. All we're going to show you in this is how to split a view and how to unsplit a view or a viewport or a panel. So let's go and do that. Let's get the uh, this out of the way. <coughs> there you go. Right, so how do you do that then? How do we make two viewports? I mean, we've already got under view, we can go and do a quad view. But uh, maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we just want two viewports. So how do we go and split a view? So it's a bit finicky. That's a new word I've just invented, but um, I thought it, it sort of works for me. If we go right to the top of our view, viewport here, you'll see the, the, um, the cursor changes to a little plus key. Right top, and then I click on that and drag that out. Hey ho, there you go. <coughs> We've got a new viewport, and we can get a T for taking the um, toolbox off, and we can put N for numeric. So numeric uh, panel and toolbox panel is per view. Okay, so that's all good and groovy, and we can uh, click here and sort of make it separated differently, and we can change this view to being a front view, for instance. Yeah, uh, do that. Now, big question, how do we get rid of one of these viewports? Because if you're not quite sure what you're doing, which is basically me, because I'm, no, I'm never quite sure what I'm doing, um, if I click over here and drag it, it gets that far and we can't get rid of it. How do we get rid of it then? So how do we get rid of a view? Right, it's quite simple, a bit like me. So if I just drag this out here just to show you what we're doing. The current view you want to keep and the current, and then you want to sort of get rid of this viewport over here. <clears throat> Again, top right hand corner till it swaps out to here, right in the corner, click on it and drag it and you'll notice now that the, the viewport, I've still got my mouse held down at this point, I haven't let go. So the viewport on the right hand side has an arrow going into it. And what it's telling me is the viewport on the left is going to sort of like merge into the viewport on the right where the where that area is and overwrite it. And I'll let go and hey ho, it's gone. So let's go and do that again. So let's go right top corner to it changes to a little cross. Click and drag. We'll get a viewport. You know what? Let's go and get another one. Click and drag. We've got two viewports now. And we'll get rid of the tool shelf on that one, and we'll get rid of the tool shelf on that one. Okay, so we've got three viewports. So if I want to get rid of this viewport here, and only leave this one and that one, for instance, I'll go to the top right -hand corner of the view, click on it, drag it over, it darkens one on the, on the right hand side, shows the arrow, and I'll let go of my mouse, and it's merged it back in again. So same again, click on that guy, and merge that guy in again. Now, let's actually not do that, so let's go back again and not do that. So I can also do it the opposite way. So I can actually say I want to keep this viewport and I want to merge this view into that one. And you see the arrow goes to that side. And there you go. And that, children, is how to um, split the viewport and to merge it back again, which was um, slightly annoying this morning because I didn't know how to do it. Uh, but hey-ho, we do now, and we have a video to show you how to do it. Not that hard, is it? Wouldn't you know? So um, that will conclude that. That's a short one. And that is it. Hey-ho. So uh, part three coming up, I don't know what we're going to do in it. It sounds all sort of grooving great, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Bye.